What's up everyone, it's Gus with a brand new Slosher video. We all know that Nintendo will be releasing kits for all main weapons for Splatoon 3 in the future, and as someone who specializes and competes in tournaments primarily using Sloshers, I do have a couple of thoughts on what I would like to see in the future. My hope for all weapon kits is that each weapon receives a total of 3 weapon kits. One unfortunate thing about the previous game like Splatoon 2 is that not all main weapons received 3 kits. For example, only 2 out of the 5 buckets received 3 weapon kits, with the Tri, Blob, and the Explo only receiving 2. So I'll be explaining the remaining 1 or 2 kits I would like to see for each Slosher weapon. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'd also like to hear your thoughts on what Slosher kits you would like to see in the future. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that out of the way, let's get started on the video. Currently, Slosher already has two kits, with the vanilla and the deco variant. Initially, I wanted the deco variant to come with suction bomb and crab tank, a mixed combination of Splatoon 2's vanilla kit and deco kit that had baller, which reminds me the most of crab tank's ball form. But since the deco variant is already taken up, and suction bomb is a bit too expensive for Slosher, we only have one more kit left for the Slosher, and I want to be very conscious of how to maximize the capabilities of this weapon. The slosher that's likely to return is the Soda Slosher, given that it was introduced in Splatoon 1 and it returned in Splatoon 2. Originally, I was thinking of the Soda Kit having a slight callback to the Splatoon 1 Soda Kit that had Ink Zuka by wanting Trizuka on it. But since the vanilla version already has Splat Bomb, I'll pass on making a throwback kit from Splatoon 1. For my dream slosher kit, I will give the soda slosher Torpedo and Tacticooler. Torpedo gives the slosher the ability to scout areas before entering locations, since the slosher is not going to be painting around a lot, which would be helpful in finding opponents in the map, giving it a sub where it can do that job of scouting for it would be really helpful. It's also a sub that is not as ink hungry and it combos really well with the main weapon when the torpedo is thrown on the ground. Yes, we can give the weapon Burst Bomb instead and that would just make it a lot more easier. But honestly, I think that would be too busted and it's a relic from the past that we should leave behind in Splatoon 1. I think Torpedo is a little bit more healthier for the game and it still gives Slosher that combo capability that Burst Bomb used to give the main weapon. For the special, I think giving this weapon Tacticooler would be really fun. By giving it this special, it gives Slosher users the ability to use different builds as the Tacticooler will be able to cover the quick respawn for it. I'd also personally like to see Tacticooler be placed on more aggressive midline weapons that can actually fight, because right now, we don't really see that with some of them being backline weapons and others not being the best in splatting the opponent. I have seen some people say Fizzy Bomb and Tacticooler would be a better sub and special combo to make it the ultimate soda kit, but I just prefer Torpedo given the reasons I mentioned earlier. Fizzy Bomb would be really cool, but Sloshers have never gotten the Torpedo, and I think this is the weapon it would fit the best out of all the Sloshers in the weapon class. Machine honestly already has the perfect kit. Fizzy Bomb combos really well with the machine and covers several of Machine's weaknesses in painting and moving around the map. Giving this weapon Booyah Bomb not only gave it the option to survive in those dire situations, but to displace and threaten objectives. Even though this kit is really good, I still like to see alternative playstyles for the two potential kits this weapon may receive. For the Slosher Machine Neo, I would like to see Autobomb and Killer Well 5.1 a throwback to the vanilla kit from Splatoon 2. The purpose of this kit is to give Machine an alternative playstyle that is more supportive in nature by tracking and identifying opponents, but still giving it the combo possibilities with the main weapon and the special. Autobomb, while not one of the best subs in the game, it's able to scout areas and is not as ink hungry. Killer Whale 5.1 I think would work really well with the main weapon because the Killer Whale does continuous damage as it follows the enemy. One direct slosh could help in comboing for a splat. Machine has a really good hitbox and AoE and you could throw a slosh in the general direction of the Killer Whale for some cheeky splats. For its last kit, I would really like for this weapon to have a hyper aggressive option. You can argue that the vanilla variant is aggressive but to me Booyah Bomb and Fizzy Bomb are not aggressive because they're more for displacement and poking respectively. Machine has not really had an aggressive option or at least a special since Splatoon 1, 
So for this kit, it's a slight throwback to both machine variants in Splatoon 1 with Splat Bomb and Trizuka. Splat Bomb could combo really well with the chip damage and one direct slosh from the machine, but more importantly, Trizuka gives the machine the tools to be even more aggressive, especially towards pesky backlines. Trizuka could just be popped and it gives you three opportunities to splat your opponents. Moving on to my favorite weapon, the Tri Slosher. Tri Slosher currently has Toxic Mist and Ink Jet, and I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this kit, I was a bit hesitant, but it's warmed up to me, has a good niche in Rainmaker, and it still works on really good maps like Mako and Flounder Heights. Now, for the Nouveau kit, I would love for it to have Burst Bomb and Big Bubbler, a throwback and combination of both vanilla variants from Splatoon 1 and 2. This kit is designed to give Tri the ability to engage aggressively, take up space, and protect itself when in danger. Burst Bomb does wonders to this weapon as it covers a lot of the weaknesses that Tri has. It gives it the ability to move around more freely, it combos really well. As for the big bubbler, both vanilla variants from Splat 1 and 2 had bubbler and armor respectively, a special that protects the user. While big bubbler is not a special that is mobile and can still provide the crucial protection when the Tri is aggressively pushing towards the enemy side of the map. For the third kit, ideally I would like to see Tri that is more focused on creating a nuisance to opponents. I would love for the third kit to have Splat Bomb and Wave Break. This kit is primarily inspired from a combination of the Nouveau's kit from Splat 1 and Splat 2. Splatoon 1 had Echo Locator, which Wave Breaker is the most similar to because of its ability to track opponents, but Splatoon 2's Nouveau kit had Splat Bomb, which functioned pretty well with the weapon. Just imagine, Custom Junior is already annoying as it is, right? But a tri slosher with Wave Breaker and Splat Bomb, it's gonna be hell. The enjoyment I would have seeing fellow tri sloshers create an area of nuisance would be a pleasure. So I hope this kit happens. Blob is the slosher I have the least competitive experience with, but I still play it a ton in Anarchy. For the deco variant, I was thinking of a kit that is focused on maintaining space and area denial, but a little bit more aggressive to its ver uh, vanilla variant. So I will give it its splash wall and tri strike. Splash wall worked extremely well for the vanilla variant in Splatoon 2 since it provided the blob protection, but also gave it the option to deny entry in key locations. Bomb rush is no longer available in this game, so by giving the blob the most similar to it with tri strike to take up space, but also give it a burst of aggression, which it's surely missing from its days in Splatoon 2. For the final kit, I still think we need to give some sort of aggressive alternative. All three blob kits have been fairly passive and it's never gotten any sub or special that is aggressive in nature. And some comp Splatoon players have mentioned wanting a lethal bomb and aggressive special for this weapon. So that being said, I will give this kit Suction Bomb and Trizuka. Suction Bomb is an overall good sub given its function of a being able to stick to floor and walls. And for me, I struggle hitting people on the tower with Blob and with the Suction Bomb, which can attach to the tower, it can help in either splatting the opponent or move them in a general direction to get the full slosh on the enemy. Trizuka is just the best aggressive option that would not get the Blob killed for free. Reef Slider and Ultra Stamp would just be a death sentence for Blob attempting to get in aggressively. And other specials like Inkjet would just not synergize well with the weapon. So Trizuka is the best bet in giving this weapon its first aggressive special that it really needs to push Blob into the next level of competitive Splatoon. Moving to everyone's favorite backline, Slosher, the x -Slosher. Currently, x has a great kit in my opinion. Point Sensor helps in tracking opponents for their frontline teammates and Rain synergizes really well with the main weapon. The Splatoon 2 kits, particularly the specials, were strange choices for this weapon at the time, with the weight of the weapon eventually impacting Baldur's movement and x struggling with popping bubbles. I honestly struggle with developing these kits because of how busted you can make this weapon because the main weapon itself is already really strong. So keeping that in mind, I attempted to make weapon kits where the sub synergizes well with the weapon without making it too broken and giving it a special that opens up playstyles that'll support their teammates. For the custom explosher, I will give it Sprinkler and Booyah Bomb. I think Sprinkler works fairly well for this weapon in Splatoon 2. Explo paints really well, but when it's being rushed down, it's not the best at escaping. Sprinkler gives it a quick tool where you can place it in a location and you can use it to escape. 
It's also a good way to help you farm your special, in this case, Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb is just going to be a better special than Rain in terms of displacement because it not only displaces the enemy, but provides an additional special meter to those who Booyah back to create the Booyah Bomb. Similar to the Blob, Explo has never received an aggressive sub and aggressive special. And I honestly think it should stay that way because of the properties of the main weapon. So I want to give it Ink Mine and Wave Breaker. I think the reason some people want a lethal bomb or sub for Expo is to give access to main weapon sub combo potential. But giving it something like Splat Bomb is too ink hungry and giving it something like Burst Bomb would make it too busted. Ink Mine gives it the ability to not only track but still combo really well with the detonation of the sub and one direct slosh. Wave Break is a good special where it can still combo really well. Since most people are jumping around to avoid the Wave Break, a direct splash could help in trapping the opponents where an eventual wave can clean up the work. This kit is designed in assisting their team by locating people, but also creating area denial, which the main weapon already does really well. Well everyone, these are all the kits I would like to see and feel like we could see in the future. Now I could be wrong or I could be right. Looking at all the kits I created, none of the weapons I proposed have Ink Vacuum, Tena Missiles, Reef Slider, or Ultra Stamp. There's no doubt in my mind one of those sloshers will get some of those specials unfortunately. There were also several subs not proposed. Are my weapon kits crazy? Are they too simple? What kits would you like to see? Post them down in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.